Jesus. There we go. Starting off. J Mac getting in a couple of real good kicks on the Are there any like to Um plenty. I'm not in I'm not as versed in this uh, commentating field as I am with other games. So, um, I do know some of Gaming Watch's um, strengths include um, his side smash. The side smash has a chance of uh, delivering a huge blow all at once if he hits him. Um, there's also a lot of quirkiness to Gaming Watch's moves. I'm noticing that already, those little random things. Mr. Yeah. Gaming Watch is actually Nintendo's first video game character ever. Before Game and Watch, there was not any video game characters. So I'm not really seeing that mouse creature that I do this walking between the trees. I do not see any mouse. Spotted elephant type creature. No. I'm not seeing that now. Seems like he's a distraction force. Maya, do you see a creature walking in between the trees? Yeah, it was like an elephant or something. Thank you, Maya. Yes. Thank you. You don't see that? Mm. I'm not seeing anything. Wait for it to come back through. It's coming back right there. There he is. Right there. It looks like a freaking anteater. I don't know. Well, that's a good point, too. A fat anteater with a stop sign. Some sort of creature. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, it's like a This is a very close battle right now. We've got two stops on each player. Game & Watch is very easily keeping this match like fighting game. Oh yeah, it seems like it's very... 32 to 37 right now. Yeah. For most of this fight, they've been less than 30% away from each other. Yeah, it's like the Ooh. Well, that could have been a nine. That would have probably sent Fox completely off the screen. Ooh, got him with a six. Game and Watch being taken down again on his final stop. And now right. Fox is down on his final. I kind of like that one to one guy. J-Mac just slightly in the lead right now as Fox. He's 100% still in that game. Game & Watch is just consistently keeping up the damage a little bit higher than Fox. And there it goes, there the first round. Goes to J-Mac. Hi Dan. Are you sleeping? What? Are you sleeping no, he's again? Been practicing. Oh, okay, cool. Free Shabakadu. You're gonna have to go by that from now on. Free Shabakadu. For the rest of your life. Yeah. If you become famous off of this, you, you have to be. Free you have to go by Free Shabakadu. I'll take up the name. You're gonna become <laughs> famous. You know why you're gonna become famous? Why? Because you're buff and you were sleeping on the camera. That's, good That's all you need. And the like, there point... will be women <laughs> all over you, especially Selena Gomez. When you looked up and you were like, <laughs> that was pretty good too. Like, the... <clears throat> <clears throat> Started off uh, right on the same level. Essentially, just a straight out rematch between J Mac and Gimmack. Everyone choosing the same people. This time, uh, Fox actually lost the first time. That's quite surprising. That was a nine. <laughs> that was brilliant. Gimmer got J Mac with a nine hammer.
Ooh. J Mac with a nice little down smash. Oh, and kept him, kept Game and Watch up in the air with the neutral air. Ooh. Pops barely got out of that five hit. Ooh, very good timing from J Mag, just perfectly waiting for that kick. That side smash. Game and oh. Watch is being quite unrelenting. Oh, but he made it back on. Keeping the combo up with a little bit of the manhole cover and some sausages that he threw at Fox. Gimmer cooking up some stuff in the stove again, and he hit him with a flaming torch. Haven't started Smash yet, or Smash 4 yet, so you guys are good. Alright. <clears throat> oh, still a very close battle between Mr. Game & Watch, played by Gimmer, and Fox, played by j -Nag. So incredibly close here. Oh. Fox is just slightly behind now in damage <coughs> calculation. But he's moving all over the stage trying to avoid some of Game & Watch's more powerful hits. Seems like a pretty intense end game. Well, oh. we're still way too close and too soon to tell what's going to happen in this overall match. And there it goes, there it goes. <laughs> Sorry, we're, we're two seconds yeah, behind yeah, you guys. Okay. Don't <laughs> don't relax and like, is what are you so commenting on? Like, <laughs> is that J-Mac? Hello? Uh, J-Mac. Right? J-Mac won that one too? That's two for J-Mac. Even though Gimma has been keeping up his game, he's still not quite squeaking out a win yet. If J Mac gets one more win, he will be victorious this round. And he'll go back into the fighting pool. So, this time J Mac is keeping up the damage really heavily early on on Game and Watch. There we go. Hit him with the slate. Saw that one coming. Game and Watch was sitting there kind of waiting to release his stock so that we could smack the box around a little more. This is still so incredibly close. Fox is getting quite a bit more damage done onto Game & Watch right now, but Game & Watch overall deals a lot more damage with each of his hits. Seeing a mere three hits, he's already gone up over 20% in damage. Oh, and there goes Game & Watch. Ah, there we go, that was an 8, that would have been a pretty good little freeze hit. Ooh, launched him with the manhole cover. The manhole cover is actually the most vital of all Mr. Game & Watch's um, props, as his very first game was literally someone would just walk across the screen and you were meant to protect him. And Mr. Game & Watch would just move these panels around. He would only have one panel that he could have at a time, but there'd be like multiple openings, and so you'd have to move Game & Watch around to make sure that people could walk across easily and effectively. 
It, there was literally only Game & Watch, and then, like, stick figures that walked across. And Mr. Game & Watch, arguably, could be considered a stick figure. Ah, and oh, there's the game. And I knew that, because I saw your picture. <laughs> J-Max.